days and waste the night. I have felt Welcome back. We are joined this morning by Chef Trey Wilcox from Trey Wilcox Cooking Concepts. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Monday. I, I love the whole idea. Now businesses or, or groups can go into your space and you put them to work. I mean, it's just fun. Corporate team building's huge. Corporate America loves it, and just, I have a perfect venue for it. You, you do. Know, that station, you do. <laughs> cooking stations that people can get split up into mystery baskets, and just say, oh, work together as a try team. Try to make, make something. Mystery make something. Who's the yeah. judge? Who decides? I am. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's power, baby. Bad, I think. Yeah. So, what are you making today? Um, you know, summer's on the way, yes. so I feel like it would be really cool to show just a little fun twist on guacamole. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. edamames are always served in restaurants steamed with salt. Yes, love But, them. you know, a while back I started kind of playing with them and saying, here, Alexis, my daughter, sit at the bar and start shucking these out of the pot. Yeah, <laughs> my daughter loves to do that. Yeah, she's got a funny name for them, right? <laughs> she calls them edababies. Edababies. So you put <laughs> them in a food awesome. processor like I did earlier and kind of oh. coarse puree them right, and then mix them with fresh avocado. Okay. Oh, so you're getting some little extra, extra Texture. goodness in there. Texture, I like that. Yeah, edamames are high in iron, a yeah. good amount of vitamin C, and just something different. Can you you taste it? I mean, does it really taste different? Texturally wise, you can. And yeah. then, uh, you, you know, after you add a little bit of acid, which is obviously lime juice, right. one of the cool things I add is actually grilled red onions. Ooh, that looks pretty. So if you had an outdoor grill and you wanted to use that to grill your red onions, you yeah. could. Um, I, obviously, I use tomatoes, cilantro. So you just chop all this up and grill it in. That's what's up. What now, is that? the chili that I use is actually a habanero. Oh. Habanero chili I use instead of avocado, uh, instead of a yeah, jalapeno, why? because I want it to be hot, but I don't want the jalapeno to obstruct too much of the flavor. Yeah. The flavor of the edamame is what I'm trying to bring out, so I really want to accentuate that. Okay. Um, so a little bit of spice, but not overpowering. Exactly, and I don't want that jalapeno flavor to come out and compete with my edamame. So you can make this in advance. It's one of the cool things. I got a vegetarian, gluten-free cooking class coming up, and it might be something that makes the menu. Okay. Cooking All classes right. are really fun, but I mean, I'm really doing a lot of catering. I just got a call from a oh, woman who's really? like, I want you to do my daughter's graduation party. And I was like, oh, oh, it is that time of year. And it's it getting is. to be wedding season Dude, as well, isn't it's it? There's so much going on. Yeah. Yeah. So much. Now, you're located on uh, Preston, south of the San Rayburn Tollway. Totally am. I'm mm. totally right across the street from the Nyla Hotel. I'm on Preston, the headquarters. So we're up there where the new Liberty Mutual is going, the new Boeings. <laughs> You busy, know, busy, busy area. It is Toyota, a fun Toyota, all kinds of stuff so going on. I just really love doing the business because it gives me the opportunity to do so many different things. Oh, um, it's a lot of different fun. It's not a restaurant life. It's just uh, it events after events after events. And so if everyone knows what I do, then hopefully I'll stay real busy. And, and what, a way, what a way to build, build a team. Sharp knives. You know, and hot cooking surfaces. It is. They get so competitive. You know, <laughs> we, get, we give them prizes. And we'll put a cool. link to uh, Trey Wilcox Cooking Concepts. And also, uh, we'll put this recipe on our website, fox4news.com.